How you doing today? Today we're going to make a perpendicular offset with a 90 when the set is less than a 90 well to a 45. So you can see here we have we have 8, eight inch pipe and we have an elevation change of 8 and a quarter inches. So we're going to punch this up. We're going to use the calculator like a trig calculator. We're going to follow along. We're going to put the radius to the 90 in there. So we know that's a foot because it's 8 inch. We're going to minus the offset, 8 and a quarter. And then we're going to divide it by the radius to the 90 times 1.414. And what that's going to do is going to break down this triangle right here. And then we're going to get the angle for that. And when we're all done, we'll know the angle fitting. It's pretty easy. So with the calculator, let's start off. Let's convert clear. Let's use our parentheses. Let's put the radius to the 90 in here. So we're on 8 inch. So that's going to be 12. 12. Then we're going to minus the offset which in this case is eight and a quarter. We're going to minus eight point two five. And we we'll close that out. You can see we just get this right here. Three and three quarters. Now we're going to divide and once again we're going to use the parentheses. We're going to put 12 in there. And we're going to times that by 1.414. We're going to times it by 1.414. We're going to close that out. And what that gave you is it gave you this side right here. So right now we're at the equals, press the equals, and what that did is it gave you the trig number for this interior angle here. And if you notice, we took the opposite side, that black, and divided it by the hippo hypotenuse. So that is a sine factor. We're going to convert that to a degree by pressing convert, press convert sine that means this interior angle here is 12.7 which is not the angle of fitting what you need is this here we know this is a 45 triangle both these legs are equal that black line and that black line are equal so what I'm going to do is I'm going to minus 45, which means I get 32.3 for my angle of fitting. So when I cut a 32.3 out of a 90 and I weld it to that 90, that's going to give me an 8 and a quarter inch elevation change. So substitute in your radius for whatever pipe size you got if you were 10 inch and of course all these radiuses would change to 15. So I hope you help hope this helped you. There'll be more to come. Talk to you soon.